Okay, so question four, maximum mark is eight, and this one is talking about the graph of the second derivative of a function. This the, gives us the value of the second derivative as cos of 2x multiplied by the sine of 6x for the domain x is greater than or equal to zero but less than or equal to one. Sketch the graph of the second derivative on the group below. B, find the x coordinates at the points of inflection of the graph and hence find the values of. So with your GDC, um, I think the big point with this question is you've got to be in radians. Uh, in the picture, a screenshot from my GDC, setting the window up appropriately. This is what we're trying to draw. And when we read the question, it says um, we need the range of 0 to x. So I need to transfer these points. And the points that I'm interested in are the intercepts. So there's one point here that I need to be aware of. Um, as we come across, obviously the scale is a little bit uh, wonky, but this value here is 0 0.5, so we're going to have an intercept here, uh, just about halfway between 0 and 1. Let me just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 1. No, that's, um, yeah, that's 1. Um, so about uh, here, we've got another x value. We're also interested in the ma minimum, the maximum, and local maximum. So about here we're coming up to just below one, um, so it's 0 0.9, uh, where are we at? Yep, so about here. Um, and we've got a minimum, so we're just trying to transfer the information as best as we possibly can. Um, just getting as close to the approximate areas as possible. And we're going to try and join those dots with a smooth curve, okay? So it comes up and down and then crosses. Okay, so that's essentially what we're looking for. We're trying to find all of the key values. Um, so you get your marks. Um, it says, note, only if the shape is approximately correct with two exactly two maximums and one minimum on the interval 0, 0, award the following. A1 for correct domain with both endpoints within circle oval. So that's your first mark if you get those two in the right sort of area. A1 for passing through the other x intercepts within the circle, so within this area. Um, A1 for passing through the three turning points within the circles here, here, and here. Okay, so that you're given like half a square left, right, up, or down. Um, so you do have some leeway within that mark. Um, all right, let me just undo the red dots. So that's what we're looking at for the three marks. It says find the, find the x coordinates of the points of inflection of the graph. So because we've got the second derivative, the points of inflection are here and here. So we're looking for the zeros on our GDC. So we've typed it in. We're going to do menu, analyze graph, and zeros. Um, and the values that we're going to come out with, if you choose point to the left, point to the right, for B, we're looking at x is 0 0.5. 524 and um, x is 0 0.785. If you were to do that um, any other way, you might end up with pi by 4 and uh, sorry, pi by 6 and pi by 4. Um, that's making cos 2x sine 6x equal to 0 and solving from there, but when you're using the GC, you might as well just zero it. Now that we've found zeros, um, part C, hence find the values of x for which graph of f is concave down. Well, f is concave down when the derivative is zero, below zero. So f of, uh, f prime is less than zero. So the, uh, where we're looking, the range of values, sorry, the values is x is greater than 0 0.524 but less than 0 0.785. So it's concave down in this section. It's obviously concave up here and here. Okay, so uh, eight marks. Where do the eight marks come from? So we said the three marks from the first bit. Uh, B, you're going to get um, evidence of reasoning may be seen on graph, M1. Um, then A1, A1 for the two solutions, or if you're just write the two solutions, you're going to get an N3. Um, for C, you're going to get an N2 uh, for the correct solution, or an A2. Um, A1, if any correct interval outside domain, also included. 
unless additional solutions already penalized in B. Okay, so that's uh, question four.